Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for tutormash.com. In this session, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use financial period and store period performance in Primavera Basics. So, what is a financial period? Financial periods are predefined time periods you can apply to financial or scheduling data throughout the application to consistently measure and compare that data. Customized financial periods provide more accurate display and reporting of actual cost and units according to the time increments recognized by your finance and accounting staff. And users can focus on a financial period and pinpoint how actual costs were incurred during that particular time. And what is store period performance? Using the store period performance feature, you can track actual to date units and cost. Storing period performance records actuals for the selected financial period along with the earned value and planned value so that you can track previous periods and compare current and future trends. Users can store period performance for any predefined period in the financial period dictionary. Now we will do this with an example. Look at this scenario. Here there is an activity wall reinforcement that is of 28 days. And according to the plan, we have budgeted 105 labors to week 1 and 105 labors to week 2, 3 and 4 and $10,500 is the cost that will incur in every week. So this is what we have planned. We have planned a budgeted units of 420 labor units. And what happened in the actual? After one week into the project, we have engaged 150 labors instead of 105 labors. So this is what happened in the site. 150 labors is engaged and second week we engaged 90 labor, third week we engaged 120 labor, fourth week we engaged 110 labor that makes total actual labor units as 470 units. Now here comes the scenario. What if your client or a project manager wants to know how much money we have spent to this project every week? How much labor is engaged? How much cost is engaged in every week? To deliver this requirement, we need to create financial periods. You can create a financial period like week 1, 2, 3 and 4 of periods day 1 to 7 as week 1, day 8 to 14 as week 2, day 15 to 21 as week 3 and day 22 to 28 as week 4. So this is how we create financial periods. And store period performance means when you update the project in every week, let's say when you update your project on the first week, these are the actual data, 150 labor and the cost is $15,000. These two value you have to store as period performance. So what program will do? Program will keep this value under week one financial period. So week one is already completed. In week two, we engaged 90 labor and $9,000 we have spent. This is the actual data. Again, you can do the store period performance. So program will save this particular data of week two. And in week three, we engaged 120 labor and we spent $12,000. So again, you have to store period performance in Primavera. So Primavera will store entire data of week three. When we do store period performance, program will store this data under financial periods week one, two, three and four. So while using store period performance, it is easy to get a data that's stating what is the actual labor and cost in week one, two, three and four. So if clients ask you how much money did you spend on project every week, you can create a financial periods and you can store period performance in every week or day or month. So we will see how to do the same example in Primavera. Look at this project, sample project store period performance. This is a dummy project which I created to just demonstrate this particular example. So this project will start on 1st March 2016. And the calendar which it follows is 8 hour working for 7 days. Right click and open. Next you can create an activity. 
So the activity name is wall reinforcement. And the duration is 28 days which will start on 1st March 2016 to 28 March 2016 right next we will assign a resource to this activity so here is the labor that follows the same calendar labor units after that you can close it next we need to assign how much labor units is engaged to this particular activity look at the example in the example, 420 units of labor is engaged into this project. So you can change the value under budgeted units, 420. So 420 units of labor working for 28 days makes $42,000 as the project budget, right? After this, you need to create a financial period. To create financial period, you can go to admin, click on financial periods. There are two ways to create financial periods. Financial period in our project, as per the example, is week one. That starts from day one to seven, week two, eight to 14, week three, 15 to 21, and week four, 22 to 28. To create this financial period, you can simply press add. And give the start date, March one to March, seven so this is one period you can press add second period is 8 march to 14 march you can see 8 to 14 add third is 15 to 21 15 to 21 add 22 to 28 22 to 28 add. and you can close it four periods has been created so this is how you create periods manually if you want to create periods automatically, you can just go to this option, give the start date, end date, and the recurrence as week, month, or year, and you can say period ends on Saturday, Sunday, or whatever, then you can click batch create, so that program will create batches automatically. After creating this, you can rename it if you want. For example, week one, week two, week 3 and week 4 right so I have created four financial periods right week 1 2 3 and 4 after that you can close it after creating financial periods you can go to edit user preferences go to application under columns there is an option select financial periods to view in columns click here select week 1 to week 4 right and you can close it now you can come here right click go to columns now you can see the financial periods will be displayed as columns you can add actual labor cost labor units in week 1 week 2 actual labor cost and units week 3 actual labor cost and units and week 4 actual labor cost and units if you want you can add earn value cost and plan value cost as well after doing this you can press ok now you can see week one two three and four labor cost and units is displayed next you can schedule the project also set a baseline project maintain baseline press add close it Go to project again, assign baseline and press OK. Go to again chart, right click and say bars. Check primary baseline and press OK. Now you can see your project is displaying baseline as well. Right? The next step is we are going to update the project. So we will update in every week. So the first week update that is 25 percentage of the project should complete and we have engaged 150 labels. So we will see how to do this in Primavera. Select the activity, go to status, check the project is started and say 25 percentage is completed. After that you can go to schedule, 
you can reschedule project on 7 March 5 p.m. Select and schedule. So you can see the program has no delay because we are going as per the plan. Now we go for the resources and see how much resource, how much labor units is engaged in this activity. Here the actual units and cost is showing zero. You can just close the project and open so that the bug will be removed. You can see actual units is showing 105. Actual this period units is also 105. So here you can see how much labor we really engaged in the site that is 150 labor. So you have to enter this value in actual this period unit value 150. So automatically your actual units will be changed. After doing this you have to go to tools and click on store period performance. This performance and this value 150 will be stored under financial period week 1, right? If you want to change, you can change it from here. So currently we are going to put this value under week 1 financial period and you can press store now. Now see what happens to the program. Once you click store period performance, actual this period units will become zero because all that value has been stored. So that is why it becomes zero. Now the program is ready to take the next value. Now we are going to update the project on the second week. Second week, in actual, we have engaged 90 labels, right? So we will update the project, go to status again, say 25 percentage, change to 50 percentage, and schedule it to 14th March 5 p.m. Schedule it, right? Go to resources. You can see actual this period units program recalculated to 60 according to the plan. But inside we have engaged 90 labels. So change the value to 90. Again, go to tools. Click store period performance. Store the value under week 2. Click store now. You can see this 90 will become 0 now. This value 90 is stored to week 2. Next, we will update on week 3, go to status, say 75 percentage is completed, schedule it to 21, go to resources. Now the actual this period units is 75, this value is calculated by the program using remaining units, okay. So week 3 we have engaged 120 labor. So you can change the value to 120. You can see the cost is also changing accordingly. And go to tools, store period performance and click store now. Right, so again it becomes zero. Now we will do our final updation that is of week 4, 100% complete. On that particular week, we engaged 110 labors. Go to status. Say the activity is finished on 28th March and schedule to 28th March. Go to resources. You can see actual this period units is calculated by the program as 60. Change it to 110. Again, go to tools, store period performance, store now. Right, you can see again it went back to zero. When you update actuals in program, program will accumulate it into actual units. So it will be very difficult for you to understand how much labor is actually engaged in every week. That is why we are using store period performance. Now you can check the columns. You can see beautifully program has arranged the columns. Week 1 actual labor cost 15,000, labor units is 150. Actual labor cost of week 2, 9,000, labor units is 90. Week 3 is 120 and week 4 is 110. See program is calculating value in every week.
So now you got the answer. How much money did you spend on project every week? Now, if you want to create a report based on this, you can go to the report tab. Here I have created a report financial periods. Right click, run report. You can see the report. Week one financial period is week one. Activity is wall reinforcement. Actual labor units is 150. Actual labor cost is 15,000. Earn value is 105. Earn value cost is 10,500. Plan value, plan value cost. Here, earn value cost is 10,500 and plan value cost is 10,500. It's because the project don't have any delays. So here you can see the total. In week one, we have engaged 150 labors and spent $15,000. Week two, 90 units. $9,000 week 3 120 $12,000 and week 4 110 dollars and $11,000 so it's a very beautiful report which will be very helpful for the people who works in construction industries this report I have created using report wizard you can watch my videos on reports to get better understanding to create reports now we will go back to activities you can just click on resource usage profile the program will show you in curves right click here go to resource usage profile options if you want to display the cost you can click this radio button and display actual using financial period data click here press apply program will show you the weekly distribution you can see this entire week you have engaged more labor that is why actual period actual cost is going up and you can see the curve this curve is over the budgeted cost that means you have spent more money than you budgeted and if you want to generate an S curve you can go to activity usage profile program will come up with S curves right click go to activity usage profile option you can click cost you can click on plan value cost and earn value cost also actual you can uncheck this and press apply you can see the plan value cost and earn value cost curve is on the same line it's because there is no delay in the project but the actual if you can see the actual it is over earn value and plan value that because as you have engaged more labor you have spent more money that is why the actual curve is over earn value and plan value Right, so there are a lot of information you can just play around with this it will display many things like uh, budgeted actual units so a lot of information are there you can just go through it also you can go to resource assignments here you can add actual units budgeted units and period actual units and you can set the time scale to monthly you can see in the March month actual units is 470 budget is 420 here you can see planned is 420 and actual is 470 and period actual units is also 470 if you want to customize these columns you can right click here go to spreadsheet fields go to customize you can put whatever values you want from here so I hope you understood this session and if you have any doubts on this session you can ping me on WhatsApp or Skype or any social media applications and thank you for watching.